And um, I started this group because I'm really passionate about women coming together and learning from the collective knowledge of the room. And I, I want to make notice today that starting today we're going to be doing videoing just a little bit at the beginning so that I can send a copy of this video to our chapter in Africa. So if everyone, I know they can't see you on, but everyone can say, Hi, Gertrude! Hi, Gertrude! So um, I um, really suggest that all of you go to the strategic partner page of the website, www.newbeginningsglobal.com. And you can look at the strategic partner. Gertrude is one of our strategic partners, and um, her chapter is in Africa. And Gertrude is doing really awesome things with her group of girls there. She's training them to uh, take their talents and learn to create an income from it. And then um, perhaps they don't have to get married at age 12, 13, 14. And Gertrude and I met um, through another group that I do, a speaking group. And um, after she read my book, she really honored me by, on, um, by naming one of her groups um, New Beginnings with Nancy. Mm -hmm. And I was just really honored. And um, so Gertrude and I have worked back and forth. And um, I mentor her. And she's working on getting a different website up and going. And uh, we're going to work on ways that we can support Gertrude and her group there in Africa, um, as well as have her be a part of this. So, Gertrude, I welcome you. Thank you for being part of this group. And today, I wanted to talk about giving thanks. Now, that kind of sounds like a no-brainer because it's November and that's what everyone's always thinking about, right? Giving thanks. But particularly at this time of the year, I wanted you to think about what are you thankful for that you don't think about on a daily basis. So, um, as we have people coming in, if you could just turn, uh, pass down the sign-in sheets, and um, we'll take care of all that. Um, so, getting back to what you're thankful for. Now, I believe, and this is what I work on with my clients, is that everyone should have an I Love Me journal. Now, what is an I Love Me journal? An I Love Me journal is a journal that you use every single night before you go to bed, and you write down at least 10 things that you're thankful for for that day. Something that made you happy, something that made you proud. Because when you put those thoughts into your head right before you go to sleep, it's a very powerful message to your brain, and your brain can work on it, you know, as you're sleeping. You really want to think about what you're putting into your head right before you go to sleep. So there are people that fall asleep with the news on, or maybe uh, some kind of TV show, and depending what's going through their head, especially the commercials, that stuff people don't think about, and so then you fall asleep and you've got, you know, these commercials, or maybe uh, CNN, you know, constantly negative news, and um, you've got these negative things going through your head, and then you wake up the next morning and just kind of try to be conscious of it, the next morning, you just wake up and you feel kind of like grouchy. And you just feel like, gosh, you know, I got up on the wrong side of the bed. Because it really matters what you put into your head right before you fall asleep. So having this I Love Me journal and taking the opportunity to write down things that you're thankful for right before you fall asleep is very powerful. Now, I did the uh, Ask the Coach call this morning. And every Wednesday, I do an Ask the Coach call. and. Women call in and uh, listen. It's just uh, it's just me talking. It's not interactive. Um, and this morning I did it on paying yourself. Now we all know what an invoice is, right? Everyone's seen an invoice. You get one from Carrie Joe when you order business cards. Um, we we know that invoices mean you have to pay something. Now most of us in our business we also invoice others. Even if you're on a, uh, something where they pay you right away, you still know what it's like that you ask for money and someone has to give you money back. So I'm taking the I Love Me Journal one step farther. I've just started working on this. And um, I'm asking women to think about what they do on a daily basis that they can pay themselves for. Because everyone's heard the, the term, um, if a mom or a housewife got paid for what she does around the house, you wouldn't be able to afford her. 
Okay, so this is the same theory with women in their business. We get up in the morning and we take a shower and we throw in a load of laundry and we get the kids off to school and pack lunches and all before 9 o'clock and we don't even think twice about it. We just think, well, we just do that because we're moms. That's what happens. But if you start to think about everything that you do on a daily basis and think about um, paying yourself for this. Now, so everyone here knows what a checkbook register looks like, right? You're all familiar with that. If you don't raise your hand, then I'm going to know you don't know vouch your checkbook. So um, you put on the left-hand side, you know, um, Janet Bean bought a necklace. And then oh, you have a balance, you start with a balance, and then it was X amount of dollars. So I write it in the debit side because I'm paying money out to Janet, okay? But then if Janet buys something from me, I write deposit, Janet Bean, and I put it in the credit column, Janet Bean gave me money, right? So one's taking away from your balance, one's adding to your balance. So now let's think about this in terms of um, thinking about what you did that day to get you closer to your goal, okay? So, for instance, you looked at all of your emails and you responded to emails. Meaning you just didn't look at them and say, oh yeah, I've got to get back to that, but you actually did something with it. You looked at it, you either deleted it, you responded to it, you did something with it, it's no longer in your inbox, okay? That's very powerful. But I'll bet you that by the end of the day, you don't give a second thought that you did that. Because nobody's going to say, hey, Janet, let me pay you because you looked at all your emails today. Now when we're working at a 9 to 5 job, of course they pay you for that, right? You, you did all this work and they pay you for this hourly work. But when we have our own business, we have to do these little things if we're going to be successful and we want to get going. Um, but there's nobody there to say, great job, let me pay you for that. So I want you to start getting in the habit of thinking about paying yourself. Now here's the tricky thing about this, because I introduced this at a workshop one time, and there were a couple um, comments in there like, well, that doesn't make sense, Nancy, because it's just pretend. And I'll just know that it's just pretend, and I'm not really getting money. But see, you need to step outside of the box, and you need to take a step farther, and you need to think about this. When you start to see that your credit column is adding up more than your debit column, now you're starting to see what you're doing on a daily basis that's actually bringing you income. Does that make sense? Okay, so um, when you think about uh, this networking group, you, you might think, oh gosh, I didn't do anything today, let's see. Yes, but you went to a networking group. You had to get up, you had to get ready, you had to drive here, you had to attend. So what does that look like to you? So in the column, the debit column, where you know, you're paying out, you pay out $10 to attend the meeting and then however much it was for lunch, that goes in the debit column, right? But then in the credit column, whatever your hourly rate is, let's just say you pay yourself $150 an hour, that goes in the credit column. So you are paying yourself for being here because why are you here? You're here to make relationships. You're here to meet new people. You're here to learn from the collective knowledge of the group. And that is very powerful and very meaningful. Does this make sense? Okay. So now get on to the, uh, what are we giving thanks for? When you think about your I Love Me journal and the stuff that you want to give thank thanks for at the end of the day, do you really, really think about what you're thankful for? You know, everybody says, oh, I'm thankful for my health. Oh, I'm thankful for my kids. Oh, thankful for my husband. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, but go deeper. Allow yourself the chance to just go deeper and think about what are you truly thankful for. Because I can tell you, when I was in a wheelchair and I had to start learning to walk again, I remember the first time that I went to my therapist's uh, place of business, there was a step. It was only, it was not even any higher than this. And I limped up to the step, and I looked at the step, and I looked at the step, and I looked at the step, and I started crying, and I got down on my knees, and I crawled up that step. I could not even take that step. So do you think that walking is on my thankful list every single day? Absolutely. And when people say to me, oh look, you can park right there, it's closer to the door of wherever we're going. No, I'm good with parking way over there. I can't tell you this many years later how thankful I am that I am able to walk. Because there was a time when I would just look from maybe here to there and go, 
Nah, it's too far. Nah, I'll go to the bathroom later. Nah, I don't need to eat. Because walking was just too much of an effort. So for me, walking is something that I'm very, very thankful for. Um, maybe someone who has lost a great deal of weight. Again, I fall into that category. I'm very, very thankful for that. Years later, that I took the time to learn, educate myself, and then stick with it and do what it takes to stay healthy. This is why my mission is to encourage women to improve their health, to value yourself, and increase your wealth. I want women to understand and embrace that a man is not a plan. It doesn't mean that we don't love men. It doesn't mean that we don't need men. We love men, of course. But no one expects death, divorce, sickness. And if you're in a committed relationship and you're just thinking, oh, well, you know, if I lose my job, we've got his money. But what happens if he loses his job or he gets sick or there's a divorce or something like that? Now, there's one thing that the financial people will tell you, oh, you have to plan for that day. But even more so, instead of planning for that day, why don't you just plan to take care of yourself? Why don't you be thankful for what the knowledge that you have, the things that you're able to do, the fact that each one of you in this room has a talent and you've grown a business around it. That is so awesome. And that is something that I believe we need to truly give thanks for. So I really hope that this inspires you to think about the things that the little things that you do on a daily basis and the stuff that you don't give yourself credit for because I got a whole workshop around this on Monday night that's just gonna blow the people away. And I just have really been concentrating lately on um, loving myself and taking care of myself. What does that mean? <coughs> and when we embrace that, I mean, we really take the time to say, what do I need? What's going to make Nancy happy? What's going to feed my soul? My gosh, it just like opens your heart and it just makes you feel like, I can do anything. If I can do anything, I can help anybody else do anything. And I just, I love that feeling. So, anyone have any questions on this? Does anyone feel inspired? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Good. That's what I want to hear.